No one is left out of the story of love. We might have seen different kinds of people love and be loved, even disabled people. Of course, not every couple's road to romance needs to make sense. Sometimes the people you least expect to end up together have the odds on their side. Join us as we have a look at the weirdest couples to have found love in a hopeless place. Number 1. Charlie and Colin Adams Charlie and Colin Adams, who both have dwarfism, have become internet stars because of the cute photos that they post online. Charlie Worgan, who is 27, stands only 4 foot 2 inches tall, decided to begin an Instagram account in 2013 to share their travels. The account now has thousands of followers from around the world. When she married Colin Adams, who is slightly taller at 4 foot 6, they welcomed their first child, Tilba, and got a lot of positive comments online. Even though they've been picked on a lot, the couple continues to post pictures of themselves having fun every day to show that they won't let their shortcomings get to them. The pictures show that they're just like any other family. They boast about trips to the beach, lunches in the sun, workouts and walks, and updates on the baby who has grown. The couple knows that having children does come with risks which include death, and their new child could have had breathing problems amongst many others. The business development manager said that she also posts the photos showing how their height can sometimes make things funny, like when they wore clothing that was too big for them or when they try to do everyday things that are harder because of their height. She would go on to explain that she doesn't worry too much about the height, and whenever she jokes about it, she always remembers to consider the feelings of the rest of their community. Charlie says that people say mean things about their posts, but she's learned to ignore them and most of her followers love to see the family photos, and most people always say such nice things. She knows that putting herself out there is bound to attract some kind of negativity, but she just ignores it all. The family has learned to block out the noise and live their happiest life. Number 2. Sarah and Gabriel Chrisman Gabriel Chrisman and his wife Sarah did not wait for a time machine to travel back to the Victorian era. Instead, the couple have changed everything about their lives to feel as though they live in the past. While they may look like any other ordinary person in every way, they've changed their lifestyle to fit that of the Victorian era. It all began while Gabriel was a University of Washington undergrad studying computer science about 20 years ago. He had been educated at home by his parents who supported the unschooling movement, which encourages children to explore any subject that they're interested in. But soon it became clear to Gabriel that there was a huge disconnect between the technology and how it worked. No one could simply open up their device and learn how it worked, the way that one could do with their bike, for instance. This fierce fight against modern times that Gabriel and his wife Sarah have been waging for the past 10 years is motivated by wanting to return to a time when things were much more simple. The couple tries to conduct their lives as though they were a couple in the late 19th century, and so both of the couple dress as though they live in that time period. They live in a Victorian-era home, which is still being renovated because of how old it was when they first moved in. Of course, they turn heads wherever they go. Some of that attention is good because people want to take selfies with them or think that perhaps they're tour guides and ask for directions. But some people also act more aggressively towards them. Sarah revealed that random strangers have tried to grab her or even tell her that the corset she wears is terrible for her health. They've been called freaks and weird, and some have even gone as far as to send them hate mail and death threats. But the Chrismans are happy despite what anyone may think and they live happily in the good old times. Number 3. Kyle Jones and Marjorie McCool Kyle Jones from Pittsburgh is unlike most people when it comes to dating. He has a unique preference for older women. In his words, everyone has their own choices. While some might prefer blondes or women of a particular ethnicity, he's drawn to older women. In fact, Kyle took it to the extreme and even dated a 92-year-old woman named Marjorie McCool who was 60 years older than him. Kyle and Marjorie met in a bookshop where she was working in 2009, and after getting her phone number, they began dating. Despite what others might think, Kyle was happy in the relationship. He finds the maturity and confidence that comes with age attractive, and the fact that older women know what they want without beating around the bush. Sadly, Marjorie would pass away in 2016, and Kyle continues to date older women with a preference for women who are 50 years or older. In fact, while dating Marjorie, Kyle also dated up to five other more senior women at the same time. 
though Marjorie was fine with it all. Number 4. Gabriela and Victor Peralta Gabriela and Victor are a couple from Argentina and Uruguay who are crazy about tattoos and body modifications. They've been married for 14 years and have a love for each other that's just as strong as their love for body art. And speaking of tattoos, they've got a pretty impressive record. In 2014, they would be awarded with the Guinness World Record title for having the most body modifications amongst a married couple, with a total of 84. But that's not all. They've since added more tattoos and modifications to their bodies, bringing the count to 98. One of their more unique modifications was tattooing the white part of their eyeballs, making the eyeballs an inky black. They've been nicknamed the Cherubs from Hell due to their alternative appearance, but that hasn't stopped them from living their best life. Gabriela and Victor first met at a motorcycle event in Buenos Aires about 24 years ago, and it became love at first sight. They've been pursuing their passion for tattoos and body modifications ever since, and some of those modifications have been very painful. However, they're happy to endure it all for the love of their craft. Number 5. Vern Troyer and Genevieve Gallen Vern Troyer was a tiny guy at 2 foot 8 inches, but he had a massive thirst for partying, getting into trouble, and hanging out with Playboy models. He made a name for himself playing Mini-Me in Austin Powers and Baby's Day Out, and still, it was after the filming of The Spy Who Shagged Me and Gold Member that he really began to catch the ladies' eyes. That's when he met his future wife, Genevieve Gallen. The two met when she was a model at the Playboy Mansion and then went on to date for two years. So it made sense that Vern and Genevieve got married in 2004, but unfortunately their relationship only lasted a day before Genevieve filed for an annulment. Despite the short-lived marriage, she became famous for it, and according to her, Vern's wandering eye and drunken temper were the main reasons that the marriage didn't work out. But like it or not, not every relationship is meant to last. Number 6. Martin Van Buren and Anna Haining Swan Anna Haining Swan was born in Nova Scotia to a Scottish father and a Nova Scotian mother. She and her family were of average size, but Anna began to grow rapidly at the age of 5 years old. By the time that she was 22, she was known as the Infant Giantess and stood 7 feet 6 inches tall, weighing 350 pounds. Call it fate if you will, but in 1871, while on a tour of Europe, Anna would meet Martin Van Buren Bates, a Kentucky giant who was advertised at 7 feet 8 inches tall and weighed around 470 pounds. They fell in love during the voyage and then announced their engagement. The couple got married at the Church of St. Martin in the Fields in London, and had a short honeymoon before returning to London for command performances before Queen Victoria and the Prince of Wales. Of course, Anna and Martin were marketed as the largest married couple in the world and traveled all throughout Europe for 14 months. They brought back many valuable gifts, which included a gold watch presented to Anna by Queen Victoria that proved that they were quite the celebrity. The tall couple had found each other but had no luck with having children, as the two died soon after birth. Still, though, the couple had found each other, and at the time of her death, Anna had left behind an estate that was worth about $40,000. Number 7. Flavio Briatori and Benedetta Bozzi The most shocking relationship that former Renault team principal Flavio Briatori had was with a woman who was 49 years his junior. Before pictures of them kissing would emerge online, people had begun to hear about the rumors that he had been dating a 20-year-old law student. Flavio had always been charming and romantically involved with several of the most stunning ladies of the world. However, the enormous age difference between Flavio and Bozzi made this connection unique. Benedetta Bozzi wasn't well known to the general public, and it appeared that she was just an ordinary Milanese law student. Even though she changed her Instagram to private and preferred to live a personal life, the media nevertheless managed to reach her and Flavio. They were pictured on his ranch in Kenya, where they enjoyed a lovely weekend together, and although we don't know much about their relationship or how they met, there's one thing that is known. Flavio sent a luxury car to fetch her up in Milan, even though he lives in Monte Carlo. The two of them then flew to Rome on Flavio's private plane and stayed the night there in a five-star hotel. Flavio was always a ladies' man and dated several well-known ladies, which included Heidi Klum and Naomi Campbell, of whom he shares a daughter. 
So he's definitely got more than money that keeps pulling the ladies in. Number 8. Anton Kraft and China Bell Anton Kraft and China Bell are a unique and inspiring couple who show that true love knows no boundaries. Anton, a 4-foot 4 4-inch 4 tall bodybuilder, has a strict rule of only dating women who are over a foot taller than him. China, a transgender woman who stands a towering 6 foot 3, fits the bill perfectly. Although China initially had her doubts, she soon fell head over heels for Anton, and the two are now deeply in love. China said of their relationship that even though she's never dated a man as short as Anton before, she's very glad to have taken a chance on him because he was an amazing person. At 52 years old, Anton feels the same way, saying that he feels like he's the luckiest man in the world to have China by his side. Anton's strength is unmatched, and he claims to be the only man in the world who has ever bench-pressed four times his own body weight. Despite doctors warning him that he may be pushing his body too far, he's been power training for 10 years, and he's even survived five instances where he was technically declared dead before being resuscitated. However, Anton believes that his greatest accomplishment is winning over China's heart. He jokingly adds that he may soon propose to China and ask her for her hand in marriage just because her name would look so good with his. Anton and China's love story is a testament to the power of love and how it can overcome any obstacle, no matter how big or how small. Number 9. Sean Stevenson and Mindy Niss Meet Sean Stevenson, who defies all odds and proves that physical disability should never limit one's potential. Born with a disease which is also known as brittle bone, Sean has overcome his challenges to become a self-help motivational speaker, a therapist, and an author. Sean was born on May the 5th of 1979 at Chicago Children's Hospital, and doctors would soon discover his condition. Despite the challenges that came with his disorder, Sean survived the first few days of his life and then went on to pursue his education. He graduated from DePaul University in 2001, studying political science and even working on political campaigns. In 2001, Sean also published his first book, How You Can Succeed, Turning Dreams into Reality for Young Adults. And with that book, he motivates young adults to chase their dreams, just as he did, despite any challenges that may come their way. Despite facing obstacles, Sean Stevenson became a highly regarded therapist and found love along the way. He met his wife, fellow motivational speaker Mindy Niss, through a mutual friend in 2009, and the two then became engaged on May the 14th of 2011. Despite online trolls targeting their private life, with many suggesting that Sean could not satisfy Mindy, the couple strongly dispute these claims. Mindy even stated that Sean was the most sexually capable man that she had ever met. Despite some people accusing her of being with Sean for his money, the couple have continued to ignore these baseless claims. Today, Sean continues to inspire people with his story and message that anything is possible if you have the determination and drive to make it happen. Number 10. Amanda Rogers and Sheba In August of 2012, Amanda Rogers, a 47-year-old British divorcee, reportedly married her loyal pet terrier Sheba. The wedding took place in front of 200 people in split Croatia. According to Amanda, Sheba had been a constant source of comfort and laughter in her life for many years, and she couldn't think of anything more that she'd need from a life partner. Amanda was briefly married about 20 years ago, but it ended within a few months, and this time she wanted things to be just right, so she got down on one knee and proposed to Sheba, who said yes by wagging her tail. When asked about the legality of her marriage to Sheba, Amanda acknowledges that it wasn't really in the legal sense, but still though, it's an excellent way to mark what Sheba meant to her, and she stressed that Sheba was never unkind or unhappy. The host then asked why Amanda had taken such a big step in marrying her dog, and she replied that there are different kinds of love, and her passion for Sheba was profound, and they had a deep connection. When asked about her love life, Amanda stated that men don't come anywhere near the bedroom unless Sheba agrees, and once, she even made a man sleep in the dog bed for the whole week. As she looked into her adorable dog's eyes, Amanda said that Sheba was the love of her life. Number 11. Z Tianrong and Mochi In Hong Kong, a man named Z Tianrong recently made headlines for his unusual engagement. At the age of 36 years old, he became engaged to a sex doll named Mochi, 
which he purchased from an e-commerce site in 2019. The ceremony took place in the presence of close friends and relatives, but the story doesn't end there. Z also has a baby doll with Mochi. He resides in his parents' place in Hong Kong and has lavished his new fiancé with gifts such as an iPhone 12 and a collection of 20 expensive outfits along with 10 pairs of shoes. In fact, Z's Facebook page is full of photos of him and Mochi participating in various activities such as dining at restaurants, shopping, playing video games, watching movies, and even celebrating birthdays and holidays together. So if you thought that any part of this wasn't true, there is proof available on his social media. The man from Hong Kong spoke to the media about his decision to become engaged to a sex doll, saying that the doll is more accessible to date than any human girlfriend, and he mentioned that his previous girlfriend was always looking at her phone. But with Mochi, it was different. She would give him all of her attention and all of her concentration. Number 12. Jolison Fernandez da Silva and Evam Medeiros The love story that exists between Jolison and Evam is a fairy tale that comes to life. Jolison is the tallest man in Brazil, standing at a towering 7 foot 8 inches tall, and is the world's third tallest man. He would be born on August the 18th of 1985 and was diagnosed with gigantism, a disorder caused by excessive growth hormone secretion during childhood or adolescence. Growing up, Jolison faced bullying and was forced to drop out of school due to his unusual height. He felt embarrassed and spent much of his life hiding away. However, he decided to live an everyday life. He had successful surgery to remove a benign tumor on his pituitary gland at the age of 21 and that helped to slow down his growth. After the surgery, his confidence would only continue to grow and he became a local celebrity in his hometown. That's where he met Evam, who was one of his admirers. Jolison said that he fell in love with her at first sight and was charmed by her, despite her height of only five foot tall. Their relationship has only strengthened over time, proving that love is not about size. The great love between Jolison and Evam has captured the hearts of people all over the world. Jolison owes his success in life to one person, that being his mother, he recalls that she had been a constant source of support and care for him since he was young. And despite the fact that he's found a partner, she does still continue to take care of him with love and dedication. Number 13. Anastasia Rescos and Quentin Dehar A French couple, Anastasia and Quentin, have spent a considerable amount of money on over 15 cosmetic procedures in order to resemble real-life versions of Barbie and Ken dolls. The couple, who idolize the dolls, spend most of their time traveling the world while constantly undergoing procedures to match their looks to the dolls. Both Rescos and Dehar come from wealthy families who fund their cosmetic obsessions. The couple plans to legally change their names to Ken and Doll. According to Dehar, their parents no longer call them by their given names, but instead refer to them as Barbie and Ken. The couple met in 2013 at a boat party in Saint-Tropez, and they discovered that they shared an obsession with looking like dolls. Dahar spoke fondly of their meeting, stating that he saw Rescos on the dance floor and couldn't stop staring at her due to her beauty and classy aura. Sadly though, Quentin revealed that he and her had to end their relationship because he felt that they were growing apart. He mentioned that the final straw was when Anastasia changed her hair color from blonde to dark brown. He explained that this change made him realize that she was no longer committed to the idea of becoming the Ken and Barbie dolls that they both loved, and he also mentioned that he didn't like brunette girls, implying that this was the reason for their separation. I guess we'll just have to wait for him to find another Barbie in the future. Number 14. Susan and Philippe Ealing Susan and Philippe Ealing's love story began in early 2017 at a coffee shop in Adelaide, Australia. At the beginning of her career, Susan was drawn to Philippe's deep pool of knowledge and genuine heart. They quickly formed a friendship, and as they went on more dates and spoke on the phone, they realized that they had a lot in common. She was not alarmed that Philippe was living with a disability. She had a background of working and interacting with people with disabilities throughout her studies and work experience, and as a result, her view of him was not affected by his health condition. On the contrary, Susan was pleased with how confident and assured about his abilities and approach to life that he was, along with his embrace of happiness. He was a man above his health condition and was not a man who was looking for a pity partner. 
In January of 2018, Susan and Philippe exchanged vows in a red-themed garden wedding at Thornton Park. Despite the love and support from friends and family, there were also pockets of rumors that Susan had married for money. This was because Philippe was born with a form of muscular dystrophy, which required him to use a special electric wheelchair for movement. Despite the public skepticism, Susan and Philippe's love only grew stronger. They proved their critics wrong and proved that their love was unconditional. Susan stood by Philippe through thick and thin, just as he had promised to do for her. Their story shows that love can conquer all, even when it comes to interabled relationships. Despite their challenges, they remain devoted to each other, and their love continued to flourish. Number 15. Nick and Kanai Nick is a motivational speaker, author, and Christian evangelist born without arms or legs. Despite his physical challenges, he's overcome numerous obstacles and has become an inspiration to millions of people around the world. Nick has a wife named Kanai and four children named Kayoshi, Dijon, Olivia, and Ellie. Nick met his wife in 2009 and they became married in 2012. Kanai has been a supportive and loving partner to Nick and has been instrumental in helping him to achieve his dreams. They've been blessed with four beautiful children and the couple is very proud of their family. Nick has often mentioned that his family is the greatest source of strength and inspiration and he attributes much of his success to their love and support. Nick, Kanai, and their children have a simple and content life and they believe in the importance of spending time together and cherishing each other's company. Nick is an active and involved father who enjoys playing with his kids, reading books to them, and even teaching them the values of love and compassion. And Kanai is a loving and caring mother who balances her work and family life and is always there to support and encourage Nick in his endeavors. He and his family are deeply religious and believe that their faith has helped them to overcome many challenges. Nick often states that his faith has given him the courage and strength to face obstacles and live fulfilling lives despite his disabilities. Nick and his family are a testament to the power of love, perseverance, and faith, and they've overcome many obstacles and have inspired millions of people with their stories, and they're a perfect example of a loving and supportive couple. Their children are a testament to their commitment to family and faith, and the family inspires everyone, and their story reminds everyone that anything is possible with love, hard work, and determination.